what is going on decided it is time to probably do an update video on the car since we've done a lot over the winter so give a good look around everything so fun back to my usual spot here so as you can see exterior wise got the pack west wing we got the roof spoiler looks pretty nice like the way it looks obviously spoiler that's made for the car looks better than just the generic one and up front with the stock bumper with the wings west touring car uh, style air dam and i think it just looks really good still have the same wheels because you know we love these wheels they just fit the car so well uh, also we have the uh euro market side mirrors so they are the folding style they do not have the little m3 looking vents you know down in here they're just simple folding mirror they're not as tall but they're wider so i think they fit the car better and uh also got euro mud guards of course there's a train so right here we got the Euro mud guards and uh, I don't know, I like it. It overlaps onto the body a little bit and uh, was able to get it to fit the USDM bumper pretty nicely. Had to radius down here for the side spats, which for now they're staying on. They fit pretty nice. Yeah, I really like them. They stick out just a little bit to give the bumper a little bit more depth, like, you know, a little bit of a flare right here. Um, polished up some aluminum to plug off the old wing holes until I can find a new wing. That's just temporary so I can find a clean trunk to paint or preferably another cranberry one. Now the inside. So got the new bucket seats, we got the Prisma both sides we have our coco checkered floor mats and a simplified dash with just a gauge pod stuck where the uh, trip computer goes that's my oil pressure um, I still have the OBD2 computer up here that plugs in you know I can scan stuff but for now that's all I got in the back is just you know locked so, no more stickered up seat. Simple. Not much going on back here. But just wanted to show you the back of the seats. And uh, anything else with the interiors? We went to all. OEM stuff. We got the OEM, you know, vert leather center console lid, the M3 chrome Chrysler shift knob, and the leather handbrake. All stuff you can find in higher trim like Chrysler models around those years. Um, I am thinking of finding a headliner, ditching this trip computer, and then just running the headliner to here and stopping to kind of hide the motor and stuff to give it, you know, a little bit of cover, but I still need the head clearance back here. So hopefully you guys like this quick update. I was just taking a car for a drive. Now that the turn signals work, um, still have a check engine light because of the exhaust leak. Hopefully that'll be fixed next week. If not, probably going to have to rebuild the exhaust, but, um, guys at Rocco's will help me out doing that. So um, I'm going to go drive home, get some gas, and uh, until next time.